I was so honored to be able to speak at the Women's History Project's 30th anniversary. It was a real thrill for me because my mother was so involved in the organization, co-founding that organization. And I just want to read to you some of the things uh, that my mother said right before she passed away. And uh, it, it'll give you kind of an idea of what she stood for. So this is what she said as she, as she, was, uh, as she was dying. And I quote, as a teacher and a woman, I am used to having the last words. I have spent most of my adult life at the university and in Akron, and I have a deep affection for both. I have worked within the university and the community to try to improve the quality of life. I am not a protester or a militant or a bra-burning feminist. Honor my memory by continuing to affect constructive change. Reactivate the Akron chapter of AAUP, Make the University Task Force on Minorities and Women effective mechanism for salary and promotion equity and improve math, science, and technology education for minorities and women. Speak out against inequity and unfairness whenever it occurs. Celebrate my life in this way. Do not mourn my passing. So she was a woman that really believed in helping others and really standing up for what was right uh, before it was fashionable to do so. So I've tried to use every single uh, uh, characteristic that she has in my own life. And whenever I hit a difficult situation, I try to, uh, I try to ask myself the question, how would Faye Dambrot have solved that particular problem? So you're talking about a woman that had uh, tremendous work ethic, had knowledge in a lot of different subjects, uh, an intellectual, yet a person with tremendous compassion and passion, uh, and just a person that really tried to help others and stood up for what was right. So I try to live my life in that same way and honor her passing in that, in that way.